in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let me bless your day with this daily gospel reflection the gospel reading for our reflection is taken from the gospel of saint john chapter 1 6 to 8 and 19 to 28 today we celebrate the third sunday of advent the main theme of today's gospel is the glorious witnessing of saint john about the person of christ John says there is someone among you who is going to baptize you with the spirit and fire. We know the power of spirit and fire. Both these forces are intended to change the situation of one's life. Jesus has the power to administer both spirit and fire. He wants everyone to come to the knowledge of spirit and fire. John the Baptist prepared people to receive the sign of repentance that is the baptism of water. John also guides the people to another reality that baptism of water is not enough to receive the power of God totally. Everyone needs to accept the one who has the power to baptize with the fire and spirit. Baptism with water is the outer sign of our repentance as John did a call to conversion a baptism of external changes the real purification will happen when we really receive the baptism of fire and spirit John intends that if someone accepts Christ who is to come they will have changed their life totally turning from sin and growing closer to God requires great sacrifice and surrender and it requires that we allow god to do powerful things within us and the most powerful thing god wants to do is to purify us take away from us all that we consider as great and most important it's a painful process in the sense that we enter a complete transformation of who we are and what we love we learn to love god and god alone and in the embrace of our love of god we come to love all people it's also sweet because as we are purified we grow infinitely closer to god and grow in holiness this lifts the burden of sin and frees us to the love as we owed we need not wait for purgatory to have our purification we are all called to enter into the process of purification here and now we are called to heed the words of john the baptist today and repent of all that keeps us away from the holiness of life reflect today upon the purification to which god may be calling you what is it that you hold on to that He wants you free off. Commit yourself to the purifying fire of God's love and let that love cleanse you in this Advent season. Keep your eyes open and welcome the message of transformation for a Christ-like life. And I pray may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.